Jane, how are you doing? Uh, oh, how's your foot? I'm doing okay, but my shoe will never be the same. Oh, wow, that really got tore up. Yeah. No, and guess what? I just got them on sale, $199. GXT Elites, on sale. How is that even possible? Just remember, boots can be replaced. Your foot, not so much. Uh, let's not think about it. That's right. Can you even imagine what would have happened to your foot if you'd been wearing your flip-flops? I don't think we should go there. Yeah, right. Sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> hey, uh, would anyone like a drink? I'm going to see what they have inside. Some water Whatever would be good. good. Yeah. yeah. I'll take some. Cassie? No, thanks. You really should drink something. You don't want to get dehydrated. I just can't right now. Well, no worries. She may drink some later. So, how long do you think they're going to be? I really don't know, but it could be a while. Yeah. The skipper was pretty banged up. Do you think she'll be okay? I sure hope so. I just hate not knowing what's going on. I know, I really feel the same way. You know, I don't think I'll ever get those images out of my head. It was so terrifying. Yeah, I think we're all in a state of shock. All happened so fast. Jane was just sitting there, fishing. Then all of a sudden, this enormous crocodile came out of nowhere, grabbed onto her shoe, and started pulling her toward the water. It was like something out of a movie. Makes me shudder just to think about it. Yeah. I know, and I just froze. But not Skipper. She didn't even hesitate. She jumped on top of the croc and started pounding on its head. And it worked. The croc let go, but then it turned on Skipper. Miss Ruth? Yes. Would you, would you pray for her? I would love to. That'd be good. Heavenly Father, we come to you and ask you to help Skipper and she did a very brave and selfless thing. And she tried to stop that crocodile. And now she needs your healing hand. Thank you for good doctors and nurses and hospitals. Please help them as they care for Skipper. We so long for the day when the curse is finally taken away. In the name of your son, Jesus, amen. Thank you. Good thing you were underwater, because that's all I could find. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. I brought one for you, too. Thanks. I guess I'm thirsty after all. Bruce, while we're waiting, do you think you could tell us more about the future, you know, when the curse is removed? What does the Bible tell us about that? Well, first of all, it says that God is going to make all things new, including a new heaven and new earth, with no sin and only righteousness. Really? Yes, and things will be very different. There will be no more crying, no pain, no disease or death. In fact, nothing bad will ever happen again. Boy, I can't wait for that. Just think about what that means. No more cavities, no headaches, no more colds or flu. No more shots or doctor visits. No more hospitals. No more tornadoes. That's right. Or hurricanes or earthquakes. We could just go on and on, couldn't we? No more crocodiles. Well, there could still be crocodiles. What? They just won't be dangerous anymore. Really? What about snakes? Nothing to worry about. Sharks? Completely harmless. You see, the Bible says that's all part of the effects of sin, which is going to pass away. Wow. But what's really amazing is those who believed and trusted in Jesus will be with him forever and ever. It'll be more wonderful than we can possibly imagine. Hey, look who's coming. It's Skipper. Skipper. Are you okay? What, how long are you going to have to wear all those bandages? What did the doctors say? Do you need anything? I can use some help up the stairs. <laughs> and I need you to just take a breath for a minute, okay? Oh, sorry. We've, we've just been concerned. 
Don't worry, I'll be fine. Who needs ten fingers anyways? What? She's just kidding. Everything <laughs> is going to be just fine. So what did the doctor say? Well, obviously he wants her to rest a lot. But you can see the blood's not oozing through the bandages anymore, and it's just a brace, not a, cru uh, a, a cast. And so two or three weeks, she'll be okay. She'll be back to work. Oh, thank you, Lord. He doesn't want me wrestling any crocs for a while. Mm. You forgot that part. <laughs> and as you can see, obviously the croc didn't hurt the sense of humor. <laughs> We're just so glad you're okay. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate you sticking around. It really means a lot. How are you doing, Jane? Uh, I'm fine, thanks to you. I just want to thank you for what you did. It was incredibly brave. You put your life on the line for my granddaughter, and I'm forever grateful. Aw, uh, well, as I see it, I didn't really have a choice. There was no way that croc was gonna mess with one of my group, and besides, I didn't want to lose a boat and a passenger on the same day. <laughs> I probably better get you inside before you get too tired. Okay, I won't argue with that. Wait, before you go, I just want to say I'm really sorry for giving you a hard time. I know I wasn't easy to get along with, and you were right. You deserve five stars. You do. Yeah, you earned every one of them. Oh, great. Now you're going to make me cry. I wish I had a joke right now. We, we don't! <laughs> hey, seriously, though, I know our trip didn't go as planned, but hopefully it'll be a memory you all appreciate later on. I know I will. I love you guys. All right, all right, that's enough. You know, you might even make me cry, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, are you ready? Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, um, just before we go, because we guarantee our cruises, this one is on us, and you'll all be getting your money back. Oh, wow. That is so kind of you. It sure is. Well, we just appreciate your attitude, your understanding through all of this, and we hope that you'll come back and give us a real try again next time. Have a safe trip home. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to get going. Well, it was nice knowing you. Hey, you're not going to get rid of us that easily. What? We got to plan another trip. Really? Yeah, that's a great idea. Where should we go next? How about scuba diving in the Red Sea? Or maybe bungee jumping in Switzerland? <gasps> or we could climb Mount Kilimanjaro. I've always wanted to do that. That was fun.